Healthcare workers who provide initial care and treatment of contaminated victims at a hospital remote from where the hazardous substance was released are often called first receivers. The possible exposure of first receivers is primarily due to the hazardous substances that remain on the victims in their clothing. First receivers play a key role in recognizing that a patient presenting at a hospital has become contaminated. These personnel are the first line of defense against exposure and injury to co-workers and other patients, or the need to shut down a section of the hospital because of contamination. First receivers typically include clinicians and other hospital staff who have a role in safely and effectively managing contaminated victims, as well as those who support these functions, such as security, admissions, personnel, and maintenance staff. This program is the first part of a series called Hospital First Receiver, designed to provide hospital staff with the information they need to safely and effectively manage patients who may pose a secondary contamination risk, and is called Recognizing Contaminated Patients. The program will present the threat of terrorism accidental chemical releases, and natural disasters that could result in mass casualties that present a secondary contamination risk to healthcare providers. It will describe the types of agents that may be used as weapons of mass destruction, the types of toxic chemical releases that may result in widespread contamination, and the kind of contamination that may result from natural disasters. The training requirements for personnel who may be called into action during these events will also be explained. Other modules in the Hospital First Receiver program will show how hospitals organize to deal with emergencies and the role of the first receiver in the Hospital Incident Command System, the selection and safe use of personal protective equipment, and patient decontamination operations.